Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share some happy mail I got from a subscriber by the name of Brooke. She had sent me a message letting me know some happy mail was coming and it would be without a note. Um, and that uh, she had a really sweet message about how she wanted to send gifts to her favorite channel. So I was very touched and honored. Um, you know, it's always... It's always so um, surreal when, you know, people say, like, you're my favorite channel. And it, it's one of those things where it's like you started your channel and never thought, like, you'd actually reach anyone. So it's always so touching to hear that. And uh, she sent me a coloring book, Flowers and Butterflies. Now, this I have never seen before. Um, and so I was really excited. It's a hard cover it's spiral bound kind of like the color it books it's by victoria chukalina i'm positive i butchered that but this thing is cool so it has a little thank you postcard in it which was pretty nifty i opened it and it like flew out i was like wow um now check this out so they have color palette inspirations for every page that's already in the book so like already some colors for you to use and kind of an example. So if you're kind of lost on what to do, it's right there. Um, so these are all single, you know, sided. It's actually, listen to this beautiful cardstock. Oh my gosh. The second I flipped a page, I was just like, oh, you could totally do watercolor, um, watercolor pencils. This is excellent paper. Excellent. I'll have to look up on the website and see what it is. But so here's the belongs to page, and they all are perforated edges, so you can pull them out and tape them down. Then we have the color test page and color palettes. Then we have color palettes that you can practice on the different types of butterflies. So I thought that was really cool. And it keeps going too. I mean, so this is that's really nifty. And then you get into the actual florals. So again, like I said, they have little palettes too if you're kind of feeling like, I don't know what to do. But like it tells you also what they are here at the bottom. Fox gloves with northern blue butterflies. You can look them up if you want to go more realistic. Gorgeous artwork though. I don't know if she makes more books or has an Etsy. I'm going to have to look into it. But I mean the paper... This is what I'm talking about. If, oops, let me hit my stand. If more um, artists like did spiral bound, nice paper, I would pay for it because I spend more money scanning and reprinting images than I would just buying a good quality book. So I, I really do wish more would do that. I do know that a lot of people are on a budget and they don't want to seclude those who can't afford like a $20 book. So I get that. This is beautiful. I love that, that each one has the butterflies, you know. Well, not each one, I should say. But I love that you can look it up. Monarch butterflies with fuchsia. Roses. Got roses with peacock butterflies. And again, you can practice coloring those on that those first couple of pages. Moth orchid. Paper so thick, you're like, did I get it? And it has a little wee bit of tooth, but nothing bad. It kind of reminds me of like the slight tooth on a Hannah Carlson page. A Dracula Vampira Orchid. Ooh, that sounds creepy. Autumn Crocuses. Anemones. I always screw up that word. <laughs> Saucer Magnolia. It'd just be fun to look these up and try to make them realistic. I mean, the artwork is beautiful. Peonies, one of my favorite flowers. I think this is on the cover. Oh, let me hope if I can. Hydrangea is another one of my favorites. I suck at coloring them. Love to look at them. Stargazer Lily. Gerbera Daisies. Tulips. I love tulips, too. Pansies. 
I do notice like some are a lighter print and some are darker. I don't know if that was just happened in printing or if that was on purpose. Um, because like you'll see here, it's like kind of dark and then light up here, but this is dark and light here. And then all these flowers are light. So I'm not sure. Okay. And then at the end, you got more color test pages and palettes. You actually have two pages worth. <laughs> um, and then let's see. This talks about the illustrator and the whole rights reserved. It has a blotter page, so you can pull this off. It's perforated and just slip it under your pages. <clears throat> and then here's another, <clears throat> excuse me, color palette inspiration. So I really like how they do that because, I mean, look at these flowers, though. Oh, look at that one. That would be gorgeous. Oh, if I could only color a flower that way. But... I really like that. Um, just breathtaking is what it is. But yeah, this is a beautiful book. If you haven't seen it, it's on Amazon. I'll link to it in the description below. Although if you're on PC, usually is now the description's off to the side. I don't know. Some, some people have that, some people don't. But if you have this book, let me know your thoughts, uh, if you like it or whatnot, and what mediums you've used, what you found worked great in it. Feeling the paper off the bat, I would say that my oil-based pencils would probably work well in here, but I definitely want to try some watercolor in here, um, just because the paper is so thick. And then a special thank you to Brooke for sending this my way. Um, it was so very sweet of you, and I appreciate it so much. Um, so generous, and thank you to all who send me happy mail. You know, I try to show each one on camera. Sometimes I, I just can't, but I do my best. Um, and if not, I always make sure to include it in a haul and try to use it somewhere just so that you guys know how appreciative I am because I really do like just opening happy mail. It really is happy mail. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? You just, you open it and you're just like, oh my gosh, look at this. And it, it's just, it brings an instant smile to your face. So it's like the perfect term to describe it because it truly brings happiness. So um, thank you guys for checking out this flip through with me. And until next time, take care. Bye now.